Hi guys, I'm Katie from Wilton, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make French macarons. And these little cookies are notoriously a little difficult to master, but once you make a batch that comes out perfectly, they're also really impressive. I've made these for my friends before, and they never believe that I've made them myself, which is kind of flattering when you think about it. If you're interested in seeing more baking videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future content. So one of the most important things I find when making macarons is to have all of your ingredients measured out ahead of time, and all that information will be in the description below. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and take my almond flour and my confectioner's sugar, and I'm gonna sift them together over some parchment paper. I like using parchment paper because it makes it a little bit easier to transfer the mixture into your meringue later on, and it also saves a little bit of the mess in the kitchen. So once you have your almond flour and your confectioner's sugar sifted together, you can just set that aside, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our meringue. So what you're gonna do is take three egg whites and add them to your mixer. And it's very important that these are room temperature egg whites because it'll help build a more stable meringue. And it's also important that your mixing bowl is very, very clean. If there's any fat in there at all, it will deflate your meringue and nobody wants that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a cream of tartar, which will also help build a more stable meringue, and a pinch of salt. And then we're just gonna whip this on high speed until it's nice and foamy. Once our egg whites are nice and foamy, we're gonna go ahead and add the granulated sugar. You wanna do this slowly while the mixer is running, and you wanna make sure that you don't add it too quickly because then the meringue will collapse, but if you add it too slowly, the meringue might form before you add all the sugar in. Once your mixture has reached soft peaks, it's the best time to go ahead and add in flavor or color, especially color if you're looking to do a solid color macaron. However, we're gonna be doing a special technique, so we're gonna skip that right now. But we're gonna go ahead and add in vanilla extract. Now you could use any flavor you like, but fun fact, most of the time, the flavoring of the macaron comes from the filling, not the shell. And once you add your flavoring, just go ahead and keep whipping it on high speed until it reaches firm peaks. So you wanna make sure you don't whip your mixture past firm peaks. If you do, you're basically doomed. There's really no good way to come back from that, and it'll start to form big air bubbles in your mixture, which will cause hollow macarons, which nobody really wants. So once your meringue is ready, we're gonna go ahead and add in our powdered sugar and almond flour mixture. You wanna fold this in really slowly, and I like to do it in several batches so it gets nice and mixed in before you add the next installment. So as you can see, our mixture is kind of thick right now, and this is actually way too thick to make macarons with. You'd end up with a lot of air pockets inside. So what we're gonna do is actually called the macaronage, which is probably the most technical part of making macarons. It basically involves smashing the mixture against the side of the bowl to release some of the air, because you don't want too many air pockets. What you're really looking for is a consistency where it's like a ribbon dropping down from your spatula when you hold it up. So now that your batter is the right consistency, we're gonna go ahead and do our special marbling technique. So we're gonna use the Colorite's colors in orange and pink, and we're just gonna add a drop of each to the batter and then swirl them together using our lollipop stick. So here I have a 12 inch bag just fitted with a 1A tip, and I'm gonna go ahead and scoop my macaron mixture into the piping bag. So here I have a baking tray just fitted with a piece of parchment paper, and underneath the parchment paper, I have these handy little templates that show you how to pipe macarons in uniform size. And this will really help guide you to make sure that you can sandwich them together and they look neat and pretty at the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pipe out my macarons following these templates. So once you have your macarons piped out, you wanna make sure to tap it on the counter a few times to get rid of any excess air bubbles that might have formed while you were piping. So once your macarons are all piped out and ready to go, we're actually gonna go ahead and let this sit out on the counter for 20 to 30 minutes. And that's gonna let a skin form over the top of the macaron and it'll help form that ring around the bottom that's called the foot. Now this is actually a good time to go ahead and preheat your oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Just make sure you go ahead and pull the templates out before you put it in the oven. So once your macarons come out of the oven, just let them cool completely and then we're ready to add our filling. This is where you can really start to customize the flavor of your macarons. You could use jam or ganache or I am actually just using Wilson buttercream. So we're just gonna go ahead and pipe a little dollop in between two of our sandwich cookies. And that's it. These are done and they look amazing. And the best thing about this project is that you can totally customize the colors and flavors for any celebration. They make a great party snack or a gift for a friend. And helpful tip, if you store them in the fridge or the freezer for a couple days, it actually helps the flavors develop even more and makes for an even better macaron. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have any more questions about making macarons, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. I'm Katie from Wilton, and thanks for watching. Bye.